Here we go again. What up, Biatch? Really, nigga? So, what exactly makes an intelligence build worth it in Dark Souls 2? Aside from your usual perks, like chip damage through shields and access to some of the deadliest kinds of magic, there is one thing that this and every other elemental build in this game all share that is also sadly missing in every other Souls game. You wanna know something funny? Now that Dark Souls 3 has been out for 4 years, people have developed muscle memory that they are bringing to the other games. Except that there's a problem here. If you heal in my face here, I can punish you very easily. And let me tell you, it's so hilarious to find someone like that here. Uh oh. 
Hmm. Hmm. So, let's all take a closer look at the perpetrator of today's hissy fit extravaganza. It started as a simple gag. Two guys cheesing the level enemies ad infinitum until I showed up. Pay close attention to this gentleman here and his top tier strategy of running away to shoot pew pews at the invader from afar while they're busy murdering his host. Of course I faced this cheap strategy about 10 billion times in my life so I know exactly what to do here. Make him think he's safe enough to shoot and then surprise him out of nowhere, which ends up killing him. Sadly, his host gets a lucky shot on me since I wasn't taking this too seriously. But if there's one thing I take seriously is a rematch. Ah oh, shit! And what do you know, once I got into the other guy's world, he's completely powerless to do anything until his favorite bodyguard arrives. Here comes the Poor guy was none too happy about this outcome though. Bitch! That you don't. Ah, yes. Blaming the buff and not his failproof running away and stalling for time strat. A classic Dark Souls serving if you ask me. But it's not over. Eventually, I invaded his bodyguard again. And now without hate mail dude to get in my way, he falls just as easily as the friend that left him for dead. Quite the poor display, but I can't hate on this guy too much since his quote unquote friend shall soon descend far far lower into embarrassment and madness. As shown in the next invasion when I found him entirely on his own, and he perished even easier than before. Bitch. And that's when the insult throwing started. Followed closely by complete lunacy, as he seemingly failed to take in anything of what was happening around him. Following up, he was also quite a bit delusional. I did kill his friend as you all saw. And then he stated somewhat factual data. I did indeed get slapped, but that didn't stop me from clapping both their cheeks a lot harder. Oh! Then my favorite part came up, as he directed his blame game onto, well, the game itself. He claims he plays a lot better in Dark Souls 3, which I can certainly see where he's coming from, as that sick run and stall strat does work wonders in that game. Though I'd be hard pressed to find anyone decent in DS3 calling that a good strat. I'd call that cowardly, but that's just me. And finally, I'd like to clarify something. He is right about one thing. I am indeed far from good at this game. In fact, I'd say I'm quite predictable. But in my eyes, that's all the more reason for this guy to at least try to outplay me instead of running away in fear like I'm playing Nickelback to him or something. <coughs> Thus, let's kick on with the show. Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What do you mean I forgot something? Oh no. You're you're a fucking idiot.
前は。Finish him!